Could the New York Knicks lure in Zion Williamson to rejoin teammates like RJ Barrett and Cam Reddish? Going into the 2019 NBA draft, there was a ton of reports saying that Zion Williamson would eventually want to join the New York Knicks and play in Madison Square Garden. But now especially when recently the Knicks traded for Cam Reddish, another one of Zion's Duke teammates, now there's even more reports saying that Zion could potentially want to join both his teammates RJ Barrett and Cam Reddish in New York. But quickly before we get the video started, for those of you who may not know, I'm Juicy Sports, I make opinionated NBA content, and if you guys enjoy videos similar to this, please consider hitting that subscribe button, that like button, and that post notification bell. But anyways, let's get into it. So far into Zion Williamson's young NBA career, there's been a ton of up and downs. When on the court, Zion has been playing fantastic NBA basketball, and in my opinion, I honestly see Zion as a generational talent going forward in the NBA if he could stay healthy. But of course, as we all know, the biggest issue with Zion is health, and he has missed a significant amount of games for the New Orleans Pelicans so far early on into his NBA career, which is certainly not something you want to see with a young player. And the real question for Zion going forward is could he actually stay healthy for a full season and then if he could do that could he stay healthy for multiple seasons and that's really the point that a lot of NBA fans are with Zion. Now of course it's very easy for a bunch of NBA fans to make a YouTube video like this one and say this is what Zion needs to do to stay healthy for the rest of his career and I think a ton of people have given their opinion on what Zion needs to do. I also have given my opinion personally I made a video a while back saying in my opinion I think Zion Williamson obviously needs to lose weight which is basically the consensus but besides that specifically lose weight on the upper half of his body and bulk up the lower half of his body to really be able to sustain the amount of weight falling on his knees every time he jumps up in the air because obviously he's super athletic as we all know and I think that's the biggest issue with Zion all the weight that's on the top half of his body is going on his knees and ankles and legs in general every time he jumps up in the air for a dunk or for a block shot on the defensive side and of course the fact that Zion is super athletic helps out his game in terms of on the court but the issue with him being super athletic and the body type that he has is obviously there's always a potential to get injured and I think we've seen that so far early on into his NBA career. Now, something that I've been hearing around NBA Twitter and also NBA YouTube videos is a lot of people are saying Zion could potentially be milking his injuries a little bit and staying out a lot longer than he actually needs to because he doesn't want to play for the Pelicans anymore and he would want to go to another team. Not specifically the New York Knicks, but he just doesn't want to be in New Orleans anymore. Now, in my personal opinion, I don't think this is very likely. And the reason why I say this is to me personally, Zion doesn't necessarily come off as a type of person that would really do this especially considering that the Pelicans have done a very good job at putting players around Zion early on. Now, of course, this season, the Pelicans have been very bad, which in part is due to the fact that Zion isn't playing. But overall, I think the Pelicans did a decent job at putting some nice, talented players around Zion. Now, of course, you could say there's been a ton of other players in the NBA, specifically talking about Anthony Davis and James Harden, which are recent examples of players holding out and milking their injuries due to the fact that they don't want to be with the team that they're on and they want to get traded. So I'm not trying to say that something like this is completely unheard of and impossible, but I just don't personally think Zion is going in this direction. So in my personal opinion, I don't think this scenario is very likely. Now, with all that being said, I still do personally think that there's a chance Zion Williamson does want to get traded to the New York Knicks, or at least get there in some fashion. Going into the NBA draft, he made it pretty clear, in my opinion at least, that he did want to play in Madison Square Garden and play with the Knicks. And after the Knicks didn't get the number one overall selection, it kind of seemed like, maybe I'm speculating a little too much and looking too much into this, but it did seem like, in my opinion, he wanted to go to the Knicks. And also, somewhat recently, a reporter asked Zion where his favorite place was to play, and before he said anything else, he said Madison Square Garden. Now, of course, after that, he did say the Pelicans were his favorite place, but the first thing that came to his mind was Madison Square Garden, which kind of tells you where his favorite place actually is. And if any of you guys haven't seen that clip, here you go. I mean, New York is the mecca of basketball. Uh, I love, I love playing. I love playing here. Uh, I when I played here in college, and this is my first time playing here in the pros, and I mean, this this atmosphere, you know, whether they're cheering for you, whether they're booing for you, uh, it's amazing. Uh, uh, honestly, I think outside of New Orleans, obviously, uh, I think this might be my favorite place to play. I 
And of course, another factor would be the fact that RJ Barrett obviously plays for the Knicks, as I said, and it was pretty clear in college that Zion and RJ specifically were very close friends, and I would assume they would both want to play together again at the NBA level. And of course, also recently, as I mentioned, Cam Reddish got traded to the New York Knicks, which was a third guy, a part of the Duke's big three in college. So I think it's very appealing for Zion to go to the Knicks besides just playing in Madison Square Garden, which he mentioned that he loves to play in, but also playing with two of his great friends in RJ Barrett and Cam Reddish, I think would be very appealing for Zion. And I think there is some validity to this. Now, how likely is it? How likely are the Pelicans to actually trading Zion and especially trading him to the New York Knicks? That's remained to be seen and I'm not sure how likely it is. But one thing that I would want to mention on that front is the fact that Julius Randle has been playing so poorly lately and the New York Knicks, in my opinion at least, are more likely than ever to trade Julius due to his poor play. Of course, last year Julius was fantastic, but this year he completely fell off a cliff and things are starting to boil over, especially in their most recent loss to the Miami Heat. I recently made some videos on Julius Randle and why he was playing so poorly this year. And in those videos I did mention, I didn't personally think the Knicks would trade Julius before at the very least the NBA offseason, but there has been some reports recently saying that the Knicks are open to potentially trading Julius Randle at the trade deadline, which is a pretty major shift in my opinion at least. Now of course you could say they're just reports and maybe they're not accurate, which is certainly possible, but I just think the fact that those reports are even coming out really just shows how poorly Julius Randle has been playing this year and how poorly his leadership has been. Of course the Knicks would have to add a bunch more and maybe the Pelicans wouldn't even want Julius Randle, but the potential is there at the very least for a trade centered around Julius Randle for Zion Williamson. Now of course at the end of the day this is all speculation and of course there's a chance that Zion does want to stay with the Pelicans and would want to play with them for the rest of his career and has no interest in playing for the Knicks. Of course that's a chance. There's also a possibility that let's say for the sake of the video that Zion does want to leave the Pelicans and does want to go to the Knicks. Maybe the Pelicans would have no interest in trading Zion unless they get an unbelievable trade package in return and it would be somewhat of a similar situation to Ben Simmons with the Sixers where the Sixers are just not trading Ben Simmons whatsoever unless they get a trade offer that they like. Maybe it could be a situation like that. Of course no one knows at this moment and it's all speculation until anything happens or anything really materializes. But we'll see what happens. The first thing that Zion really needs to focus on is losing a little bit of weight and really focus on staying healthy on the court. In my opinion I think that's the biggest key to Zion's success in the NBA and when healthy I really do believe that he's a generational talent and if he could stay in the court I think he can be a superstar type talent very easily in the NBA and I think he's honestly already proven the ability to be that caliber of player at the very least in my opinion. But we'll see what happens with this whole situation going forward. But anyways let me know what you guys think in the comments. Do you guys think Zion Williamson would potentially want to play for the New York Knicks or do you not think so? But anyways I hope you guys enjoyed the video and if you did enjoy please check on one of these two videos popping up now and until the next time peace out guys.